Well, it's a little cold outside today, but we're out here working on this N14, and I thought I would go ahead and make a, a quick video on some, some injector issues that if you're having these injector issues or you're having a miss in your engine, uh, this is some stuff you can look for that won't cost you a ton of money when you get to a shop. Because one of the things you find with the N14, with this electric motor, is that you can start having mechanics just eat you alive with one thing after the next and not ever getting it fixed. And these are some really simple things you can do to go ahead and maybe narrow it down to see if you, see what problem you have so you don't get taken through the cleaner. Let me go ahead and show you some stuff. Okay, this is an N14 I bought and it had a pretty substantial miss in it. And uh, it ended up actually being a couple misses. But the people that had it before, they ended up having the heads changed, okay? So all three heads were changed because of this miss. Then they had the ECM updated because they thought, you know, the mechanic told them that it was the ECM issue. And then they started going through wiring and then they got frustrated and sold it to me. So when I got it, I started going through some simple things that could be the problem. Now, what I ended up finding was the big miss. I went through and I took these valve covers off. I took the jakes off and I checked all the push tubes. Okay, and I found this push tube you can see the top is is cracked off off it so it might have been the head you know head had a miss in it but then when they did the overhead that's why you got to be careful people know how to do the overhead this was cracked at the top and so it was missing really bad on cylinder six i changed the push tube fixed up things a lot but then it had just one more slight miss and i found it was coming through uh, cylinder one. Let me show you a couple of the things you can do. What you do is you start the motor, okay, and you can unplug these injectors. These This wire connects to this injector through this pass-through, then on the other side of it is, an, is a similar plug that goes to the injector. And with the engine running, and I'll show you in just a second, you can unplug this, and you can see if the engine makes a change. If the engine makes a change then, or it sounds different, then you probably don't have a problem with that cylinder, you know, or or, or the miss isn't, isn't there. But if you find a cylinder where the engine doesn't make a change, it sounds the same, then that is probably your culprit. Let me show you what that sounds like. Okay, so say you go through that process on each one and you find one that doesn't make a change. Okay, sounds the same. You unplug it, you plug it back in, it sounds the same. Well, what you need to do then is you need to see, is it coming from the ECM? Is it coming through the wiring, not getting power to the injector? Or is it the injector itself? And there's a really simple way of doing that. What you need to do, is get you some Noid lights. This is probably the easiest way of doing it where you won't spend uh, a bunch of money. You can rent a Noid light kit like this. It doesn't cost you any money. You, you get your money back when you take it back from O'Reilly's. And you get the GM Noid light, okay? And you take this, this Noid light, you start the truck back up, you unplug the one that's giving you problems, and you plug this Noid light in and I'll show you how that works. And if the Noid light is flashing, well, then you don't have a problem from the ECM. It's probably actually in the injector. Let's go ahead and show you how that looks. What I would do if I had power going to the, the injector, I test it with a Noid light, and I know that when I unplug it, the engine makes, uh, makes no noise makes no, there's no difference in the engine, then I can be kind of certain that it's happening with that particular cylinder. 
I would take the valve cover off, I would take the jakes off, and then I would check to see if this connection, okay, on the other side is good, right here, on the other side of that pass-through, and that the wires going to the injector were good. If that's all solid, okay, and that plug doesn't look wore out, because you can see, let me show you. Uh, pull this one out. You see the the rubber seal on that? It starts to go bad after so many years. And, and, and these N14s are all pretty old at this point. Well, you want to keep those updated because what happens is on the other side of that, there's oil sloshing around. There's things happening in there. Uh, and, and those get in those connections and you can actually end up shorting out uh, the thing, to, the, the wires, you can actually end up shorting out your ECM. Okay, so you, what <laughs> will end up happening is you keep replacing your ECM, or you keep getting it fixed. You can't figure out why the thing keeps shorting out. Well, you could have bad wires, a bad wire connection on the other side of that that's getting oil in it, and oil has all kinds of contaminants in it that is causing your ECM to short out. That's a real common thing, and this is such a cheap part. So if you have an N14 and you wanna make sure you keep it updated, keep those plugs fresh. Now, if the plugs look good and the wires look good, you can take the cap off the injector and you can check the ohms on that. Make sure that your uh, solenoid on that uh, injector is good. If not, then you probably just have an injector issue, okay? And you can check, uh, there's a lot of different references to check the ohms on, on the injector. Okay, so now say you have run the engine, you pull the plug out, the engine doesn't change in noise, okay, so you know it's that cylinder, and you put a noid light on there, and the noid light doesn't fire off. That light is not making any power. You know that you've got an issue from the plug to the ECM. Now it's either some wires going bad, or it could be in the ECM itself. What I would do before I jump to conclusions on the ECM, I would pull the plug off, the one that fires the cylinders, which is plug C, pull it off. You can check online and see which uh, pinholes are for which cylinders. Close that system off. I use a paper clip. So, for example, uh, cylinder one would be pin one and pin 10. I put a paper clip between those two holes. Okay, to close it off and then I check the ohms and if the ohms show that it's a closed system and everything's good then I know the wires are okay if it shows an open system so it would on mine it would just show like a one on the side then I know there's a wiring issue and I would trace those wires back and get that fixed but if it's an ECM issue at that point now when you go you're getting it checked out if you're gonna to go to a shop or if you're gonna send that ECM in, you can be pretty confident you might have an issue there. Okay, pretty simple to do, to check the wires first, then if, you, if your wires all look good and you make sure you got in the right holes, then you know it's probably an ECM issue. All right, that's my tip for finding a, a miss, narrowing down the injector or the ECM on one of these N14s. I hope that helps out. Now, I know a lot of people, you ain't gonna wanna pull off the valve covers and pull off jakes. You don't like touching wrenches and sockets and all that. Maybe you don't wanna do that. I understand. But it's real simple, no matter who you are, I think. If you have an N14, start it up. You gotta miss somewhere. Pull these uh, plugs, there's six of them. Pull these plugs out one at a time. The engine doesn't make a, no a change. It, it doesn't stutter. You can't notice anything different. And that's probably your problem uh, cylinder. And what you can do is hook a noid light up to it. Real easy to do. Hook a noid light up in there and see, is the light coming on and off? Is it firing? If it's firing, it's probably not an ECM issue. It's probably not a wiring issue. It's probably an injector issue. If it's not firing off, if it's not lighting up, well, then you know you probably have an ECM issue or a wiring issue. And when you go into your mechanic, can narrow it down for them and say hey I want you to check this out because this is this is what I was having problems with this is what was happening when I did this test hope that saves you a little bit of money a little bit of time and heartache um, but uh, 
If you have any other suggestions, please just leave me some comments below.